Howdy y'all, it's Aaron here, and in this episode, I'm gonna show you why you need to stop running Facebook ads for your clothing store. As always, make sure that you grab something to take notes with and stick around until the end of this one, and I'm gonna share with you why this decision will actually make you more money. All right, so number one is that Facebook ads only magnify what is already working. The number one reason your Facebook ads won't work is because everything else in your business isn't working. If you don't have these other key areas fine-tuned before running ads, you're gonna waste a ton of money. So throughout this video, I'm gonna be putting in order of importance some key areas you must spend time on before you even think about running ads. Hence my plea for you to stop running ads. Right now, not forever. All right guys, before we get to number two, I just wanted to say howdy. My name is Aaron, I'm one of the co-founders here at Bitbranding and we're an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of the latest strategies for clothing stores. And we drop new content every single week. All right, so number two is to build a website that welcomes sales. I've been on countless strategy calls with clothing stores where I land on their homepage and have no clue what to do. There's some obscure picture with no call to action on the website. I don't even know if I'm in the right place. As Donald Miller would say, if you confuse, you lose. So here's some quick examples of websites that have a great homepage. Let me just walk you through uh, why. All right, so the first one that we have here is a smaller brand. They're not ones that are doing, you know, 20 or 30, 40 million dollars per month. This is actually a little bit more relatable, right? They're definitely a seven figure business if I was to guess. But as you can see here, this is actually even different than the last time when I did research on them. But it has the latest collection, a resort wear collection shop now. So awesome imagery, lifestyle photos of exactly what they're showcasing, which is this collection. And then bam, information, click the button shop now. It is super easy to understand what it is they want us to do. We click shop now and then awesome. We're taken right to the page for that particular collection. Now, one thing that's interesting is that this collection is a little bit shorter than the normal ones. Usually they have 12 or 16, but the main thing here, clear call to action, clear way to click it. And I also like the hero images where you can click anywhere. Like I can click over on the left-hand side where I'm accidentally clicking something and it takes them to the page to shop. Uh, because people have dexterity issues where like they accidentally click on the wrong thing. This makes it super easy and kind of foolproof on not making that happen. So that's the first one. All right, so this next one here is also a very large, you can see how fast and responsive their site is, but more importantly, right, they're, they're going for the refresh, look at the bright side. It looks like they're already getting late into spring. This could even be a push for some summer stuff for me. Very, very easy for you to click uh, what is next, right? What they want you to do. So refresh, look at the bright side, click that button, says shop new, that's like bright yellow. Um, and then I love this actually, it just says like, this is new today. Uh, that's very cool. So you're just seeing like, what is the latest trends uh, that are going on right now? What are the newest options on the website? As we go back through here on the homepage, I love their options here. They're, they are breaking it down by collections, accessories. Uh, they also have the shop to look, which is uh, very popular. We've talked about that. Christian's covered that a little bit more extensively. I think the best thing that we have here is that it actually has clear call to action, great graphics, and then you actually go somewhere and then you can go and purchase. All right, so this last one here is called Lunia. I think that's how you say the name of the brand, so I apologize if I didn't say that correctly. What's cool about this one is it's a very, it's not a boutique style clothing store. It is a specific product type. So this is all about, uh, their, their sleepwear. So they're literally everything on here is all about naps. Uh, so you can see here that they say, anyway, so they say new year, more naps <laughs> with an asterisk next to there. Uh, but they're saying, I think the way that I'm looking into it is like more naps, but you need their clothing. So the very clear call to action. The person is wearing the outfit that is uh, for their napping purposes. <laughs> so it says new year, more naps, shop sleepwear. And you literally click right there, clear call to action, an image that describes the type of product uh, or collection. And then right here, you go directly into the top product. I've never seen a site like this. It was actually really cool where as soon as you click to go uh, look at the product. All right, so once you get to the page, it actually takes you to all collections, but it has individual options here where you can see sleep sets and kits, top sweaters, dresses, robes, cardigans, everything that's literally part of the sleepwear option. 
and you can shop very easily by size, color, type, fit. Uh, so this is an awesome theme. I don't know if they're on Shopify or what they're on, but it's a very cool way to make a good shopping experience because this is how you would shop. Very clear call to action on the homepage. And then once you get to a collection page, you can make your next decision based off of these images, which is super easy to click through. All right, so number three is to build your follow-up system to increase profit. Advertising on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, insert whatever you would like is only going to get more expensive. It's unlikely that costs will actually drop on the platform. So that means that you need to be able to focus on total gross profit or lifetime value of that customer. This is the total amount of money that someone will spend with you on average. Now, if they only buy once, chances are you're going to have a very hard time growing your business because the cost to acquire customers right now may exceed your actual profit margins. So whether that's taxes, cost of goods, advertising, all the things you cannot control, so you must focus on what you can, which is clear, consistent messaging to your customers every single week through email and SMS once you've mastered the email side of things. All right, so we suggest three manual campaigns complemented by automations to make sure that you stay in front of your customers or your audience every single week. If you want to copy and paste the exact automations that we use for all of our customers and we keep adding those every single week, comment automations down below and we'll send over the information so you can snag those for your store. Last but not least for your profit center, use a tool like Sumo to create amazing designs to collect those email addresses when they land on your site. We're actually in the process right now of really defining and I may have uh, Christian do a breakdown of the best SMS and email pop-ups for you guys so that we can grow your clothing stores. But right now, our number one suggestion is Sumo. Now, a couple of tips for you here as you're creating those pop-ups. For desktop, get rid of the X in the corner. That's where people go literally automatically. You're always looking for that X. Um, make sure that people say like, no, thank you, or I don't want this. Uh, because psychologically, it's just they have to think about the option. It's also good practice for desktop to have the pop-up come up as they're about to abandon the site. Now, for mobile, make sure that the pop-up appears after about 60% of the scroll. We don't want to have them get on mobile and then just automatically hit them in the face with something. And there's no way to like tell exactly when people are going to leave the site on mobile because you just don't have that tracking. So let them go through 60% of the site as they scroll down and then show that pop-up and you'll get more options. Hey guys, before I show you the most important piece that you must have in place, you must complete this before you start running Facebook ads, I want to tell you about our free masterclass training that's for clothing stores that will walk you through the five pillars that you must have in place to scale consistently and profitably no matter what is happening in the world. To get free access to this training, make sure you click the link in the description down below. All right, so now that you have everything else in place, you know what you need for your website, you know how to create profit. The next big piece here is creating amazing content that engages your audience. There's no other place that's better at creating engaging content or a platform like TikTok. So I wanted to show you a couple of examples of clothing stores that are doing really well here. And what I can tell you is that you don't have to jump on the trends. You don't have to even dance. There's actually people that do really well by just showing hacks. There's some people that do really well by changing uh, outfits. There's some people that do uh, just talking to the camera. You can make anything work on TikTok as long as you figure out who your audience is and use that content. Now, what does it have to do with Facebook? We have seen that TikTok style or real style content, which you can start to do some research on reels. It's just a little bit better search option on TikTok. But you can start to use that content for your advertising. That is when you know you're gonna, about to be ready to start running ads again. And what's amazing is that you can run this organically and they're gonna give you a lot of reach. So if, they add, or if, the, if the post does really well organically, then it will likely do well as an ad. And reels are being pushed on Instagram right now and TikTok is really pushing content. So right, you never know which piece of content is really gonna blow up on TikTok because their algorithm is so good. But let me show you a couple of examples of brands that are doing really well, uh, some that are jumping on trends and dancing, some that are jumping on trends that are relative, relevant to their audience, um, and just a couple of other examples as well so that you can kind of get some inspiration. All right, so you can scroll through this one right here, and let's see here, there's, uh, there's one I saw that was like 90,000. So if there's like 2,000 or 3,000, you gotta figure out where your baseline is, but uh, this one they had 11,000. This one is 99,000 right here. Uh, I'm gonna play with them. Come into Libby's, uh, so it's a mother-daughter duo just talking back 
forth about how you shouldn't be messing with one person or the other. Uh, <laughs> so let me see if I can play the audio here and maybe uh, we'll put this on the video. So let me see. Start it back here. And y'all see me. When you see her, you see me. When you see me, you see her. Period. Don't play with my best friend. She got on her eyelash. I got on my eyelash. Don't play with us. Y'all see her. So nothing even really relevant to the clothing store other than they're wearing their outfits and it's just creating engaging content for their audience. So maybe a really good video to run an ad for. Uh, what do we see here? They have some older ones, again, 700. This one's got 82,000. What does this one look like? No. Interesting. So uh, another cool thing about them, they have a dog inside of their store. So very relevant to their audience. Again, clothing store in the background. Very fun and engaging. Could be very good uh, as an ad. 82,000 views organically. So good examples there. Another one here, Pink Lily. One thing that they do is... Um, if you pull inside of here, they're usually jumping on trend, but they also showcase like uh, two different size models, right? This girl's 5'6", this girl's 5'4", one size large, one size small. Um, it just goes back and forth, and it looks like they're just jumping on a trending song. Let's see. Perfect. That one had 383,000 views. Obviously, they have a lot of followers, but um, you can see which ones do well and which ones do not. So 4,000, 3,500, and then you got one that has 383,000 views. Obviously, did well here. Let's see here. This one has 552,000 views. It's an edit for or like a collection of workouts. So let's check that one out. Nice for the pain, like, like green, like gum. You remind me of suicide towers. Three things for the body like gum. Cool. Exact same type of outfits. Very engaging. There we go. Could be definitely run as an ad. Again, 500, almost a half a million, over a half a million views. So, some just quick examples. Check out other brands. Doesn't have to even be clothing stores, right? I would love to find some other examples for you guys over time uh, that are related to TikTok, but don't necessarily have anything to do with clothing stores. Jump on trends, jump on things that are related to your business. Remember, it doesn't have to be uh, directly related to your product. It could just be about the type of customer that you have and help them relate to you as a people. Uh, I've seen too many times where smaller brands can relate more to their audience because they know the problems they have and there's less of a disconnect versus bigger brands. They feel like they're unapproachable. So be thinking about that as you're creating content and using these pieces of uh, these strategies here with TikTok or Instagram because these allow you to show your human side to have fun. So definitely check out here for inspiration. Just go to or go to TikTok and start searching for accounts and jump on some different strategies for you and your clothing store. All right, guys, so that is it. But there's one major, actually two major things that you need your attention. Number one, if you get every single other piece set up, then you can start to run Facebook ads. And I'll tell you what you need to do next. But before you even do any of that, the most important thing you need is data. So without the right data, you can't make the educated decision on whether or not to even scale or turn off Facebook ads. So getting this set up is so crucial. So we found a software called TripleWell and they take the guesswork out of trying to figure out if an ad is even profitable. But my favorite part is that they can tell us when someone is likely to make a second or third purchase. And the sooner that you can get someone to come back and buy a second time, the better. This is how you use advertising to grow your business. This is what's gonna help you set up your business to be profitable when you start to use Facebook ads again. So now the second piece, the most important part, if you are ready to start running Facebook ads, right? You watched this video all the way through, not you, you bought into what I was saying, which is to stop running ads until you get these things figured out and you're ready to start running ads now, maybe pause this video, make sure that you go check out this video next right here because I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up Facebook ads to be successful for your clothing store. All right, y'all, that's it for this week. I hope you have a great rest of your day and we will see you next time.